Welcome to this video on simplifying thirds. Now, square root of 3 times square root of 2 is the same thing as saying 3 times 2 all square rooted, which will give us square root of 6. Now, key note to remember is that square root of a times square root of b equals to a times b all square rooted. Example 1. Simplify square root of 50. To simplify for square root of 50, first let's look at the factors of 50. And our aim is to find pairs of factors that at least one of the numbers is a square number. For example, we have two pairs of factors here. And our aim is to look at the first one because it has a square number of 25. So square root of 50, we can break it down as square root of 25 times square root of 2. And square root of 25 is 5. And square root of 2, being an irrational number, will not break that down any further. So our answer left in third is 5 square root of 2. Example 2. Let's simplify square root of 63. So finding the factors of 63, we choose the pair that 1 has a square number, which is 9. So we'll break down 63 as square root of 9 times square root of 7. And square root of 9 will give us 3, and square root of 7 being an irrational number, we can't simplify without having decimals. So we'll leave our answer in third form, which is 3 square root of 7. For our final example, we've got to simplify 108. So our factors of 108, we have two scenarios here, where one, we do have a square number here and a square number here. We're going to use the one has the larger square number. So we're using 36 and 3. So the square root of 36 will give us 6. And square root of 3, we can't simplify any further. So leaving our answer in thirds, our answer is 6 square root of 3. There is a possibility that sometimes we can't see 36, which is the largest square number to use. And we can use 9 instead. So we find that breaking it down, we have square root of 9 times square root of 12. Our square root of 9 is 3, and we have square root of 12. Now we can break down 12 further. So factors of 12 are 4 and 3, because we can see that 12 does have a square number as one of its factors. So we now break down square root of 12 as square root of 4 times square root of 3. Now square root of 4 will give us 2. So we're left with 3 times 2 times square root of 3. And 3 times 2 will give us 6. So our final answer is 6 square root of 3. So as a quick review, we can see to simplify square root of 108, we can use two different ways, but we arrive at the same answer. You might be able to see that the largest square number to use is 36. I can break it down as square root of 36 times square root of 3. Or you can start off with square root of 9 times square root of 12. But remember to break down a square root of 12 further. Well done. Keep on learning. Don't forget to click the like button press the notification bell and subscribe for more of our daily videos.